Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this tutorial. Basically, this is gonna be kind of more of an extended version of kind of my process. It's gonna be probably a bit longer, but uh, perhaps it'll be helpful. So I'm starting off by just importing my reference image. This is just a sketch that I did. And I might build up a whole world. I might just build just the building, everything else kind of natural shapes and stuff. So right now I'm just gonna focus on building that and you saw that I imported the image onto the front plane. So now I'm just going to start by kind of shaping out this building and I'm just using that over there as a reference. I, you know, I usually have reference off on the side as well. In this case, I thought I'd just put it right into the screen and perhaps that'll be more helpful to everyone else to have it just right in the view for everyone. And let's see. Oh, excuse me, I had a huge sneeze there. <laughs> okay, so I was duplicating that. I'm going to create a control D to duplicate, and I'm going to create this wall piece, well, the uh, ceiling piece here, or roofing. And perhaps, actually, you know what? I'm going to kind of make, get the length of it correct first. And the width, um, kind of just guessing how, what size this how structure would be. Uh, sometimes, you know, I might actually try this. I'm going to hide this image and we're going to pull the reference image right into this plane so it just always stays viewable. I want to see if that's if I like that or not because I, I don't really need it to. I could line it up like this if I wanted to test stuff out. Yeah, this might actually be more useful in this case. So I've got that piece. I'm just duplicating some cubes off to the side. And now I want to get the house width correct. I'm going to take this and we're going to slice this just right about maybe about at one third or so. And I grab the cut tool there. And I'll be generally moving between different modes like vertex, vertices and things like that. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. I'm just hitting, uh, zooming in with F. Uh, hitting Q to jump up to the grab tool here, grabbing vertices and things like that, moving around. And this might actually need to come over a little bit. And I hit Q and I'm right clicking to go back to object selection. And let's see, I kinda, this actually would be thinner. You'll see why, cause this is sort of a, this roof almost like holds dirt on top of it so I want it to be a little thinner and these will be this will turn into the boards and stuff at some point and I'm going to duplicate this piece again and I'm basically scaling it down I just hit R to jump to the scale button and slide it over to the ends and make it about kind of like maybe like a two by six so two inches by six inches probably uh, in this case, it'll probably be, it would be rough saw lumber. I'm going for a, another Viking-esque type building, or at least that kind of time period, a little older. You would probably wouldn't have wood that's sawn so cleanly. So when I put these together, I'll probably when I go into painting them, I'll probably make it a little bit rougher looking. And those too, that on the top part, it actually sticks up further. And I'm gonna, I'll adjust that when I get to it. First, I'm gonna place all the other boards. There we go. And now I'm just gonna select this and duplicate it for the other side. And line it up about right there. And I'm actually gonna make this a single piece. Hit combined. I'm gonna hit center point. And the center point, you can actually find it, it's up I feel like it's under create perhaps no edit I think it's under edit somewhere along here oh modify sorry it's got to be modify transformation hmm where is that I was going to show you where to make the shortcut for it but I'm not seeing it I probably scrolled right over it because I haven't used it in so long Hmm. 
there's freeze transformations. Transformation tools. Ah, oh, center pivot. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so if you wanted to make that shortcut, you could just go up here to <laughs> that a lot. Up to modify and click center pivot. But while it, when you click it, hit control and shift, and it'll put it right up in your bar. I'm just gonna delete that. The other useful one is freeze transformations. And let me show you why that's useful. Let me duplicate this. So say I rotate this and like those transformations are following with the shape. If I wanted those to be freezed so that they, watch, I'll just hit the tool and that will make sense. So we're gonna uh, freeze transformation. I made a shortcut really quick. I'm gonna click that and basically it resets it to the world. So, you know, now that's the new center point for this object. So that's the difference between center point and freeze transformations. In my case, I just want these to be frozen transformations. Let me grab this piece here, combine, center pivot point. And then if you want to edit the pivot point, I hit W to go to move, I hit hold D. And actually you can slide that right to, let's jump into this side view here. And we're gonna actually move it right, we're gonna go down and right to that point. And the same with this other one over here. Just gonna grab it and put it right in the base there. You can also, if you hold D and V together, you can so you can have it snap. I'll go into the 3D view, it's a little easier to see. You can grab the center and snap it to a vert, which also works out really it's really nice and precise. And now the reason I'm doing this, now I select these two pieces. I'm actually going to bring this down to the roof here. And now when I hit E to rotate this, it snaps right along my rooftop. I might just adjust that a little bit just to make it work better. And I'm going to grab these verts here. And since under this, if you double click it, I have it set to axis orientation on the object. Watch if I click the world, it'll be like that, but we want object, so I can just grab these and put them to the appropriate length. Same with this, it's a little too long, a little too short. And from here, I can look at this and decide, you know, like this roof back here actually looks like it tilts significantly more abruptly like that. And if I look at this, it actually looks like it's a little bit shorter. So we're starting to get the right shape of this building. We're gonna grab this piece over here, slide that down, zoom in a little bit and just kind of get approximately the right spot. Now, remember I was talking about having these go beyond that point? Now we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna grab this and I just want the one front face here. So select that face, but I also want the one on the other side as well. So holding shift, Grab those two faces and just extend it out to about that point there. And you'll notice uh, I'll actually want this to overlap differently. Right now they're going through each other, so I'm going to select all these points and just zoom in, make sure I have it lined up. Put that about there. Go over here, do the same thing. And now we're going to shift or just right click, go to faces instead. Grab that face, shift, grab that face. And now we've got that nice little crisscross that I wanted. And you could have this, I could go over here and have these extend a little bit further too, just to give it a little more rough sawn look. And maybe a little bit on this side as well. Right click, go to face. And say if you click too many faces like that, you can just control click the same face or say you, you're you not sure which one you clicked, you could control click and drag and that would be select. There we go. So we have a decent, uh, kind of a decent box shape going here. I just want to add a few more details to bring it to the next level. And one thing to note, it doesn't look like this board actually existed necessarily, so I'm actually going to alter this. I'm going to double click this one and just delete it. I'm gonna grab this one, double click it, and I'm just gonna rotate this one to be completely upright because I think 
I'm thinking about the construction of this, and it doesn't make sense that they would have those boards enclosing like that. But it would make sense to have this like that. We're actually going to separate this out by hitting this little key here. And basically, what that does is it made this center. And see, here's where that freeze transformation is going to come in handy because if you look at this, they're all messed up on a center point, and that didn't fix it. But if it freeze transformation, freeze transformation, it should fix. It. Oh, perhaps it's rotated. Hmm. Let's try reset transformations. Nope. Hmm. Usually that works. It must be because it's rotated. Here's another trick that I'll do sometimes. I'll duplicate the object. For some reason it's not working, and I'll combine them, break them apart, center point, and that fixed it. I don't know why freeze transform wasn't working. For some reason it wasn't though. We're gonna close that. And basically I want this beam up here. I did that so I could scale this beam properly. I want it to be a bit weightier. Maybe it looks like it's the whole beam that's holding up the entire center point of the house. There we go. You see that's actually dipping down here. This could kind of give me some more ideas of how this house is constructed. Maybe I'd add some more information on the on this as well. Let's see. We could do some additional stuff with that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make the corner pieces first. Let's create a new block. Hit F to zoom to that block. And right now I'm just thinking this corner this wall piece here, just kind of getting in place. Perhaps we should have this be separate pieces or together. You can go either way, really. I'm going to duplicate that out already here. Make sure it's just a little bit beyond. And then we can grab these points here, lower them in, grab the other ones, lower those down. I'm going to duplicate this one off and just move one out of the way because I want to use one for some later. I'll grab that. And it's Control D to duplicate if I hadn't mentioned it before. I'm selecting those two pieces and we're just going to duplicate those and move them back here. I'm going to give them, probably don't really need that stuff on the back, but we'll add it anyways. Okay, so we have that now. Let's throw a door in there, I think. And actually, before we forget, let's save this. And I'm just going to call it a uh, hut, Java hut. Always remember to save. And maybe we'll stop there and in the next part, I'll start detailing the house out a bit more just to break this up in some nice segments. So I'll see you next episode. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to catch more episodes and take care.